It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2014. I'm James Spann. Merry Christmas to you and your family. The weather is improving gradually today with the rain exiting the state this morning and a much brighter day tomorrow. And man, things are looking cold around the uh, new year here. Uh, we'll take a look at that and much more as we go along here. Big, large, upper trough. Long wave, if you will, over the central U.S. That kicked off the heavy rain, the big storms yesterday and last night. We were blessed in our state. Uh, so far, not a single tornado report. A total of 14 tornado reports across the deep south. Of course, the hardest hit was South Mississippi, at least four fatalities there. The hardest hit community was Columbia, Mississippi, well to the south of Jackson. Uh, tornado damage also near Laurel. Also one tornado in South Georgia down there below Valdosta. This morning, cooler air just to the west. It's 46 in Memphis. But look in the warm sector. Tallahassee is at 73. But the cool air gradually wins today. We'll see falling temperatures. They'll gradually fall through the 50s today. Here's a watch warning map if you're traveling. Uh, we've got a lot of winter weather issues in the western U.S. Look at the flooding problems up in the northeast where they typically expect snow this time of the year. Still much of Georgia under a flash flood watch, and technically at daybreak, a flash flood watch continues for southeast Alabama. All of that will expire soon. Uh, this was a tornado watch until 7 uh, for parts of South Georgia and North Florida. A new one has been issued that will go beyond that to the east. That's the overall risk for today, the marginal risk from near Virginia Beach down to Lake Okeechobee in Florida. Also a marginal risk for hail over much of Ohio and some of the adjacent states under the coal core there. Now, this is the overall rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning. And this uh, is reflecting the rain that we expect over the weekend into early next week. And the numbers are coming up. Now, this is suggesting parts of Alabama could see almost two inches of rain. And we'll take a look at that and uh, the potential for cold at New Year's on modeling here. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid uh, uh, today at noon. There's the trough axis, still a bit west of the state. Down below that, the big rains off to the east. A deepening surface low is over Ohio. Uh, clouds linger today, and again, temperatures will be falling through the 50s. Uh, they'll peak at the radar early this morning at 513. Rain mostly east of I-65, but by the time you watch this, the bulk of that will be in Georgia. Christmas Day tomorrow, what a great day. Just exactly average for late December. Sunny will start the day in the 30s. High will be in the 50s. Couldn't ask for a better day. Friday looks good. The sky will be sunny. A pretty comfortable afternoon. A chance we'll see a high close to 60 on Friday. But, uh-oh, here comes the showers again. Got a surface boundary coming in from the north, and the front is going to become parallel to the upper airflow, so it just kind of hangs up north of the state. So Saturday will be a, a day with occasional showers. Sunday, the front stalls out again north of the state, so same deal. Cloudy with rain at times. Highs for the weekend, I'd say 57 to 60. No severe weather problems this time, just rain. And uh, Monday of next week, we're still wet. We have this southwest flow aloft, and uh, by golly, on Tuesday, still maybe some rain over the far southern part of the state, but it looks like a three-day stretch, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with rain at times. And then Tuesday, I don't think we see any sun, but uh, we, we start to at least get a drier look there. And boy, it starts to turn cold North of the state, that's a 1,045 millibar high that is over Wyoming. And this is New Year's Eve, December 31st. Well, that's interesting. Got the big trough axis west of the state. We have a southwest flow aloft. And look at that. The rain is back on Wednesday. And it starts to turn cold. Uh-oh. And... Uh, let's take a look at the high-resolution GFS. This is uh, New Year's Eve, December 31st at 6 o'clock local time. That looks nasty uh, for our friends north and west of here. A 1,004 millibar low is near Montgomery. And if this is an understand, you know, this is a week away. This could change. But if this is right, we would have a cold rain in our state. Uh, we would have uh, maybe some icing problems and uh, over parts of uh, western and middle Tennessee and then a big snow for uh, Arkansas up into southern Missouri and western Kentucky. Little Rock would be buried with snow if this verifies and don't freak out yet if you're in that part of the 
southern U.S., but uh, this is just going to be something to watch. And then uh, the next day, New Year's Day, uh, January 1st, 2015, uh, we are cold. Uh, this is at noon. It's got temperatures only in the middle 30s here with a strong north wind and a chance of snow flurries. But nothing we've shown you suggests any accumulating snow for Alabama here at this point. These are the temperature anomalies for the 1st of January. And wow, that's uh, reflecting temperatures over 20 degrees below average here. And again, that would put highs in the uh, 30s and lows down around 20. Yikes. But I don't think it'll last long, this cold snap. This is the 8th of January. Heights are way up. And that just looks cool and dry. Temperatures coming off the ensembles, uh, missing... Uh, a little bit of data there at the end of the week, but you can see that uh, colder trend around December 31st and January 1st. And again, if the operational run we showed you works out, it's going to be a lot colder than that with highs in the 30s and lows uh, down around 20. We'll keep an eye on that in coming days. I say we. I'm actually going to take a little bit of time off. Uh, Brian Peters will have the videos between now and New Year's Eve. I'll be back on uh, New Year's Day. Uh, so uh, thanks a lot for taking the time to watch these videos. Hope you and your family have a blessed and uh, very Merry Christmas this year. Hope you uh, get a chance to get some downtime as well. Thanks for watching. Again, what we're down to the one-a-day schedule, so Brian will have the next video tomorrow. We'll be on television this evening, Tracking Santa, ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas to you and your family, and God bless. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be light From now on Our troubles will be out of sight Have yourself a merry little Christmas Make the Yuletide gay From now on Our troubles will be miles away Shine.